Hey guys, iPad Rich here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable restrictions on your iPad. Now, this is useful for when you have younger children at home and you don't want them accessing material that is not appropriate for them. So, this could be very helpful for you if you have this kind of situation. All you need to do is go to settings with the gears, just click on settings. And first place you should show up is this general tab. So we're already selected in the general tab. All we're gonna do is scroll a little bit down until we see restrictions. Now click on restrictions, and at the top, click on enable restrictions. If you have a passcode, it's actually gonna ask you to set a passcode. So make sure you put in your passcode. It's gonna ask you twice. So now I've enabled restrictions by setting the passcode. Let's say for example that I don't want my kids to watch movies that are anything PG-13 and above. That means I'm going to disable the following. Okay, there you go. So now they can only watch G and PG. And now we can go back. And uh, let's say, same with TV shows. I just want them to be able to watch PG. Okay? I don't want to have them watching TV-14 and TV-mature. Now, you can do this for any kind of thing, especially apps. There are some apps that are 17 plus, so they're for adults only. If you only want them to watch, or if you only want them to allow to uh, play 12 plus app games, so for ages 12 and up, then you know you could set that. Or if you want only, if you have a really young kid at home, you only want them 4 and up, you can do the same thing. Or you can disable apps completely. Now, you don't have to disable apps completely. You can just have it setting to set to whatever you want it to. But this is the basic usage of restrictions. And there's a few other things that you can do, but in this video, I basically just want to show you how to set restrictions and guidelines for your children when they're accessing media like movies, TV shows, music. You can do that. You can turn off explicit ratings, so make sure they can't listen to explicit music and same with the books and the apps. Also, you can turn off a very important thing called in-app purchases. Let's say they're playing a game where they can purchase gold or they can purchase some kind of coin to continue playing their game and get better at the game. There's been a lot of uh, problems going on in the tech sphere where kids just buy about a thousand dollars worth of gold coins and they all put it on the credit card because it's inside that game. So they're playing the game and the game is just like, oh, buy this right now, and you can have this much more stuff. Well, you know, the kids aren't really thinking, so what they do is they create an in-app purchase. And sometimes they spend huge amounts, and, you know, people get shocked at the end of the uh, month when they get the bill in the news, you know. So you can disable in-app purchases, and you won't have this problem at all to even think about. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you, is how to set restrictions. You can also disable restrictions, and you have to input your password again. And now my restrictions are disabled. Thanks for watching. This is iPad Rich, and click the link below to get more videos from my friend iPad Pete. He can help you out with anything you need. Thanks for watching.